How do you defend your team? Um, hope it goes to narrow side. <laughs> Try and start off with a good gap. Uh, make sure you're getting the seat cuts going backwards. You can't be lost over the players. Um, sure um, take away time and space as you can and pray. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I was just going to say, what have you learned from Miro about defending? Because a lot of people look at his numbers, but a lot of people say he's better defending than he is offensively. Um, what I learned from Miro. <laughs> Positioning, anticipation, stick, escape. I don't know. It's kind of watch and learn. I mean, he doesn't explicitly you know, tell me anything unless I ask him. But um, it's a little bit of footwork, a little bit of stick work. Uh, you know, kind of positioning. Uh, probably gaps up. Um, I really hide the stick a lot. Like, you know, rushes are sad. I hide the really good group. Kind of smooth it out. It's a lot of little stuff that's tough. Well, and again, like Pete was talking about recovery. Like, you know, a lot of guys, you get beat, you can't re he recovers. Yeah. And again, part of that's just from his talent. You know, so, you know, he puts himself in a good enough position to recover, but he also has the, the feet to do it. Yeah, um, I think that's something we both do. I don't know if I'm being overconfident in my abilities for saying that. Um, but we're both good enough skaters that we can yeah. get off the ice. And, you know, if the play doesn't work out, then we can still turn around and catch games. Now, we're not going to catch McDavid, right. but the vast majority of the league, we can kind of chase down. So it allows us a little bit more freedom to you know, get up the ice and try things. Try some things off uh, As a group, how do you feel about the team's play defensively during this stretch? Because the numbers say the shot differential is like, like plus 10 right now, which is off the charts from what it was earlier in the year. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Um, yeah. Good goaltending. Saves a lot of that it stuff. Has, but so I mean, I agree with that. Lots has been lights out, which is awesome to see. Um, yeah, I mean, Tammy came in and he kind of shored up our, our top four. And Hess is playing great right now. You know, Nils and Suits are, are crushed, but it's a pair, so yeah, it's just good team defense. How much does that change what you can do offensively? Um... Because it seems like you guys feel good. And again, a lot of the defense also comes from the fact you're moving the puck into the offensive zone and keeping it there, it seems like. Uh, well, there's kind of two schools of thought you can go off is the best, you know, defense is good offense. Uh, or, you know, good offense comes from good defense. So it's whatever school you want to go to. Um, as a defenseman, it's been drummed into my head that good offense comes from good defense. So, I, don't know, I think that's where it's coming from, you know. As long as we defend the rush well and counterattack quick up like we want to, we can have success. Is your head different than it was? We've talked about this. But like, uh, you there's even, more hair on it. <laughs> but do you sense in a game that your brain just naturally reacts differently than it did two years ago? Yeah, for sure. Um, just calm, I mean. Experience. Yeah, my, my year and a half, two years, three years in the age, are so huge. Um, just defensively, I'm so much more comfortable uh, off the rush in the corners. It just it comes. I'm not, I don't want to say naturally, but much easier. So. Perfect. Thanks, Josh. See, I told you.